Hi there and welcome to this episode of Consciousness Empowerment. Here we talk about consciousness from which all things are made, spiritual laws, how to use the universal laws, and how to reach your dreams, okay? How to reach your fucking dreams. We're going to go over Your Invisible Power by Genevieve B. Rand, okay? We're going to go over this a book and we're going over the chapter x1 which is 11 how no 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 x just x <laughs> just x which is the story of how genevieve b rand became the pupil the student of thomas troward okay chapter x okay how i became the one, per, the only personal pupil of T. Troward, the great mental scientist. Okay. In this story, she talks about how she used a quote from a, the Bible where she um, got faith and understanding because she didn't get any letters okay from thomas troward she would write letters and tell him hey i want to be your student how can i be your student do you take in students never got a message never got a response so she was about to give up right i'm gonna quote her quote after saying she didn't get any reply she says this was discouraging that I would have completely abandoned the idea of becoming Troward's pupil, except for the experience I had had the day on the street when my whole world was illuminated. And I remembered the promise, all things whatsoever thou wilt, believe thou has it, has received it, and thou shall receive. Okay. I don't know why I said has it, I just like, I said it right away, but it's um, all things whatsoever thou wilt believe thou believe thou has received and thou shalt receive. End quote. And so that day when she was feeling discouraged, she remembered that she remembered that that quote. Okay, and when I was incarcerated and I was locked up, and I read the Bible, I read the New Testament one whole time complete, and then another like half, and um. I, that's what I would think of. I would think of like, okay, I'm going to go to college because I have faith. I have faith in God. God, Jesus said that if we ask God for something, he'll give it to us, you know? And, you know, I wanted to be a good person and Jesus is a good person. And so I'm like, okay, now I'm good. Now I'm getting the things that I want, okay? From this perspective of being a good person, a loving person. And... Jesus was such a good example of being a good, loving person. Not only from the things that he said, but the, the things he did. Giving food to people. Helping others heal themselves. It is done unto you as you believe. That's the story. That's the story of um, somebody takes Jesus to a sick man and then says, Jesus, heal this man. And he sees, sees the man and he says, It is done unto you. As you believe. And that guy's like, I believe Jesus. I believe. And then he healed himself. <laughs> well, they healed each other. You know? It's like you're saying, right now, what we're doing right now. Okay? I'm teaching you the laws of the, of the spirit of the universe. We're going to go over the truth and like these universal laws. Meaning they're, they're true in the spirit. They're true in the mental. And they're true in the physical. Okay? This is a very important chapter. Very, very fucking important chapter. And I discovered this through like just reading a lot. I'm a voracious reader and I discovered the... So stay till the end, okay, to get this nugget. Now, if I didn't do this, I'm going to do it now. Ask yourself, are you ready to learn and apply? And are you ready to be the best version of yourself? If you said no in the beginning, get out. If you said no with the second one, get out, okay? Because it's not going to benefit you. Not going to benefit you. Come on, let's get moving. So... He, she eventually got a letter from him and said, no, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't take students. And she's like, dang, 
But then she's like, no, if I want it, if I want it, it's mine. Okay, so I'm going to go and get it. I'm going to still go. So she uh, went to England. She went to England despite him saying, hey, you know, I don't, I don't take any. And um, she's like, well, well I'm going to go. You know, it must be mine. If substance, if, if consciousness is all there is, there's no limitation. Okay, there's no limitation. This is what she says. So, quote, I decline to be discouraged because the memory of my experience upon the day when the light and the thought had come to me. Quote, I am all the substance there is. End quote. Right? Because she said she had the the understanding that I'm the I'm all the substance there is. When there is consciousness, I think this was Thomas Short or with um, Genevieve. When there is consciousness, there's just a substance there, just awareness. So there has to be a substance, just awareness, just just plain awareness. And now you focus on a thought and image, and it molds it from that substance. And it's projected because now we're talking, we're talking about spirit and then it's projected on the physical plane. Okay. It's projected on the physical plane. So that's how she understands it. How I understood it was, um, that all thought, thought is free. Thought is free and the universe is throughout. It's throughout. So I have thought I can just think. And there is this substance is unlimited substance here. Kind of like clay, but it's invisible. You can't see it. It's like clay here. And then when I mold something, it just manifests. It expresses itself. Okay, so I'm like, damn, everything is fucking free. Okay, so now another thing. She experienced this rapturous joy. I got the word rapturous joy. I'm like, what the hell is rapturous joy? What is that? Because it just came into my mind. And um, so I noticed that new word. And I looked it up, rapturous joy. And it's all like, oh, you're just like, it's in it ineffable feeling of ecstasy of joy you know and i had that when i saw everybody on the bus because i take the bus right now and i saw everybody on the bus and i'm like wow everybody's god everybody's a projection of the divine i'm like oh my god i love everybody you know i'm like oh my god they're so beautiful you know they're they're amazing i'm like oh my god look at everything i was just in awe Okay, so she added that too. She's like, oh my gosh, I could have anything. I am one with the substance. Quote, I am all the substance there is. She's divine, so she must be a divine point. And the divine is everywhere. It's not just one point. So I'm all the substance there is. You know, your spirit has no time and place or lack of limitation. It is everywhere and at all times because it's a non-physical thing. Now, she still went. So she asked for an interview. This time she kind of did a sideways kind of, you know, like came from the side, not directly. She's like, hey, can I get an interview with you? And they got an interview with him. And so she went and then she asked him, hey, would you, would you be my, my teacher? And then he says, no. And then as they're leaving, he says, you know what? Write me, write me. And um, we may have time in the autumn. And then they write and she, he says, hey, I want you to, um, I want you to tell me what this means. Quote, chapter 21 of Revelations. And the city lieth four square and the length is as large as his breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, 12,000 furlongs. The length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And so she said, do you know this? God letter. It was just that question. The letter was just that question. And um, she went out to look for, you know, she wrote people, professors, you know, people who may have this answer. And, um. She was 
out looking for books that Thomas Trover told her, told her to buy. And she was at the bookstore and she saw a book from by a astrologist, a French astrologist. And she had the hunch to go meet this guy, all right? She met up with this guy and she said, hey, what do you do my horoscope? For some reason, she, she felt she needed to ask him for the horoscope. Quote, and in spite of this answer, because some guy, the bookstore guy told him like, no, the, he's, a, he's an astrologer. He's not in, a, he doesn't read horoscopes. He's an astrologer, not, he doesn't do as, um, as, astronomy. You know, I don't know what they call it, astrology. Astrology, he doesn't do astrology. You know, the, the month and all that stuff for the birth dates. He's an he's a astrologer, okay? Not um, somebody who reads horoscopes. And so, quote, in spite of this answer, there was a persistent impulse within me to go to the man. It's not logical. The intuition will tell you to go. So she went. You do it. And, oh man, something's coming to me right now. I gotta do something too. My friend stood up. I was at a great loss. What to do next? Oh, because she, she was visiting this man. She was visiting this astrologer. And she's right. Intuition seemed to tell me there was something for me to gain there. Just what it was, I was unable to define. So I paused a moment, much to my friend's displeasure and embarrassment, when one of the professor's enormous Persian cats jumped into my lap. Quote, get down, Jack, the professor shouted. What does it mean? He seemed to ask himself. Hmm. Then, with a greater interest than he had hitherto shown in me, the professor said with a smile, I have never known that cat to go to a stranger before, madam. My cat pleads for you. I also now feel an interest in your horoscope. And if you will give me the data, it will give me pleasure to write it out for you. End quote. And so they arranged to meet the next su Sunday afternoon, okay, with um, her information. So she, she was, he was supposed to g give her information the next Sunday and then he was going to work on it. And then she got the idea to ask him, right? To ask him and said, so what do you think about this quote, you know? Um, and then he wrote, and he said without, without like hesitancy, quote, it means the city signifies the truth and the truth is non-invertible. Every side from which you approach it is exactly the same, end quote. Intuitively, the, and undoubtedly, I recognized this answer as the true one and my joy knew no bounds because I knew because I felt sure that this correct answer in my possession, with this correct answer in my possession, Troward would accept me as his pupil in the fall. And then, um, yeah, she gets, she becomes the pupil. But there's a letter that she shares about the, the truth, okay? The truth, which is the, the create, how the, how things are created. You know, for first cause and relative first cause, the spirit and its operations. Um, Trower writes in his letter, says, quote, all sorts and descriptions of so-called occult study are in direct opposition to the real life-giving truth. And therefore, you must not expect any teaching on such lines as these. And quote. So, all of these, um, you know, um, The theosophy, the tarot, the Kabbalah, and the like, I have no hesitation in saying that. Occult studies, so occult studies, you know, initiation and things like that. You don't need that shit. Because everything is within you. It is within you. I've said this before. All you need is within you. You don't need someone fucking telling you what you desire. You know what you desire. Connect, 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 connect with your heart, connect with your higher self. And he said, and again with the quote she shared, she she does this beautifully. She shares this quote of the of the man, of the guy, of the astrologist, because she was supposed to be a, a student of Troward. She had that burning desire. Okay. She had that burning desire. And um she wanted to know the truth of life. And Thomas Troward has the truth. And that quote says, the truth is non-invertible. You cannot change it. It's like, it's just solid, okay? It just is. 
Let me read that quote again. You know, it's not like, man, it's so powerful. The truth is the truth. Like I mentioned in my previous videos, and this is the, the big nugget that I'm sharing with you guys. When you look at something, it has certain principles, universal truths from different perspectives. So like people who know how to get in shape, they'll tell you, you need protein, you need, you need, um, you need, um, you know, understand nutrition, okay, nutrition, workouts, and the mindset, okay? The mindset and the habits. Mindset and habits, okay? Those are the three things. And the, another bonus thing is like supplements. Everyone knows about it. Everyone who's in shape. Although they might not do the exact same thing, they know it, okay? So this is the, the quote from the, um, their, their interpretation, right? The meaning of that quote. It means the city signifies the truth and the truth is non-invertible, non-invertible. It can't be flipped upside his head. Once you look at it from one side, it's the same size. Look at this side, it's the same thing. So you look at the truth about getting in shape, it's the same thing. Boom, it's the same thing, you know? Money, you need sources, you need avenues. Same thing, kind of like rivers, rivers and then they come to you, okay? They flow to you. Okay, you know, so flows out. Like Thomas Shore says, flows in, flows out, flows in, flows out, flows in, flows out. You know, you, you receive, you also give. The universe is here for your benefit, but you're also here for the benefit of the universe. See, see the flow, okay? And now, the truth is that you have everything within you, within, without, okay? This is something that's been coming to me lately, and that's that everything is free, because thought is free, and um, there's no need to stress. There's no need to stress. And watch your, your self-talk. Let your self-talk be positive. Be constantly aware. Be constantly aware. And change those levels. Manage those energy levels, your vibrations, so you can attract more good into your life. So that's, manage, that's emotional management and awareness. Okay, you can turn turn it around, you know, because emotional awareness. Well, how am I feeling? Check in with yourself. Emotional, emotional check-ins is very important. Check in with yourself. How do I feel? <sighs> okay. What's something that I regret? Like, what should I have done different? What should I, what should I change? And um, apply it. And if you feel good, that's good. You're attracting more good into your life and just, and, and just move on higher and higher and higher. Remember the quote. My mind is the center of divine operation. The divine operation is always for expansion and fuller expression. And this means the production of something beyond what has gone before. Something entirely new, not included in the past experience. Therefore, since the divine cannot change its inherent nature, it must operate in the same manner in me. Consequently, it will move forward to produce new conditions always in advance of any that have gone before. Okay, okay, no, that one doesn't say go for more, but to go for more, okay? And as you say, life gets better and better and better. Things will start getting better. Life gets better and better and better with the money, with the love, with the sex, with the health, with the workouts, with the everything, the happiness, the joy, the calm. Okay, all under grace and perfect ways. I love you, I hope you like this one, if you feel like it, liking the the video like it if you feel like commenting comment if you feel like subscribing subscribe you want to get the next video hit the notifications so you know you get notified and until next time i love you so much peace